Pour out your wrath on the Gentiles who do not know you, and on the tribes who do not call on your name. O oh Elohim, how long would the adversary reproach? Would the enemy despise your name forever? Remember this, the enemy has reproached Yahuwah, and a foolish people has despised your name. Repeatedly in the Old Testament, man has turned his back on Yahuwah, bowing down to and serving other idols. The wrath of Yah has stormed down repeatedly upon man and this earth much too many times to count. Over and over again, man has turned from his Creator, following his own set of rules. Are Yahuwah's commands really that hard to follow? In the first and second book of Kings, it wasn't uncommon to see a king going after his own way and not Yah's. One king after another. It was like a game of hot potato. one following Yahuwah's commands. But the next did the complete opposite. Yet, despite how sinful this world has become, especially during the Tanakh, the Old Testament, Yahuwah has been very patient and forgiving. This does not mean, however, that all men have been spared from the mighty wrath of Yahuwah. Indeed, in the Old Testament there have been numerous instances of masses punished by His wrath. Sadly, there has always been those wolves in sheep's clothing, turning many aside from the truth, creating new laws that are nothing more than traditions of men. The Messiah, Yahushua, distinctively spoke against these traditions of men. But He answering said to them, why do you also transgress the command of Elohim? Because of your tradition. Matthew 15.3 And in vain do they worship me, teaching as teachings the commands of men, forsaking the command of Elohim. You hold fast to the tradition of men. Mark 7, 7 7-8 According to Yahushua, they had many traditions nullifying the word of Elohim through your tradition which you have handed down, and many such traditions you do. Mark 7, 3 Indefinitely, there are many traditions of men that the Pharisees and scribes lived and swore by. What were these traditions that nullified the word of Elohim? If we look up the word tradition in Mark 7, verse 3, Mark 7, verse 8, and Matthew 15, verse 3, According to the Strong's Dictionary of Bible Words, the word tradition is G3862 Paradosis Concretely, a precept, specifically the Jewish law. The Jewish law is more commonly known as the Babylonian Talmud. The point of this study is not to point out all of the traditions of men that can be found in the Babylonian Talmud and how they nullify the word of Elohim. That subject would be a book of its own. The main purpose of this study is to uncover the one tradition of men that Yahuwah completely abhors. Reading the prophetic book of Malachi can reveal one major thing that the father Yahuwah clearly loathes. While this book is merely four chapters in length, it is very powerful indeed. Obviously, Yahuwah is angry at the priests of Yisrael, Israel because of much corruption. The first act of corruption mentioned to the priests is that they despise my name. Second, they are presenting defiled food on my altar. Thirdly, they present the blind as a slaughtering and the lame and sick. In the first chapter, there are three things that Yahuwah is angry about concerning the actions of the priests. The priests were full of corruption and yet they were so blinded to their corruption that they questioned these accusations by asking, 
In what way have we despised your name? And in what way have we defiled you? From all three of these corruptions, that is, despising Yahuwah's name, presenting defiled food on the altar, and presenting blemished slaughterings, throughout the entire book of Malachi, the one act of corruption that is mostly talked about is Yahuwah's name. Even though we just read it in Malachi chapter 1 verse 6, how can someone despise Yahuwah's name? If something or someone is despised, the obvious thing is to avoid it completely as much as possible. Why the priests did not love Yahuwah's name is far beyond my knowledge or understanding. Nevertheless, they hated the awesome name of Yahuwah so much as far as to make it contemptible, while at the same time asking, How have we despised your name? As if they were innocent. The priests completely removed Yahuwah's name from existence in the scriptures. From searching throughout the Babylonian Talmud, the Jewish law, the following are some texts that can be found concerning Yahuwah's name. Yahuwah's name was replaced with Adonai. And thenceforth priests ceased to bless Israel with the name Yahuwah, but used Adonai, the Lord. Babylonian Talmud, Tract Yoma, Day of Atonement, Chapter 6, Page 60. It was forbidden to speak the divine name during prayer for mealtime. Nor may the persons who join to say grace after meals mention the divine name. Babylonian Talmud, Tract Megillah, Chapter 3, Page 64 The name of Yahuwah was not to be spoken outside the temple. Yahuwah must not be pronounced outside of the temple. Babylonian Talmud, Tract Yoma, Chapter 7, Page 100 Anyone who spoke the divine name was guilty of blasphemy. Mishnah 6. A blasphemer is not guilty unless he mentioned the proper name of God, Yahuwah. Tract Sanhedrin, Supreme Council, Chapter 7, page 166. Rules and regulations concerning how the examination concerning blasphemy should be conducted. Whoever spoke the divine name was guilty and the punishment was death. To what purpose is this written? It reads earlier, Ibid 16, But he that pronounced the name of the Lord shall be put to death. So is the decree of our mayor. The sages, however, maintain, for the unique proper name, death is the punishment. And for the pseudonyms, Elohim, Elo, El, Shaddai, etc., it is only a warning by a negative commandment and the punishment is as for the transgression of a negative commandment. Babylonian Talmud, chapter 7, page 166. How the examination concerning blasphemy should be conducted. According to the Talmud, if you are not a Jew, you are the children of Noah. Children of Noah are not permitted to speak the divine name or the pseudonyms of Yahuwah. This includes Elohim, Eloah, El, Shaddai, just to name a few says the Gemara. Isaac of Nava differs with Ar Maisha, who said, One of the children of Noah, who blasphemed God by any of his pseudonyms, Elohim, Elo, El Shaddai, etc., whatsoever is guilty, and is put to death, even according to the rabbis. Babylonian Talmud, chapter 7, page 167 how the examination concerning blasphemy should be conducted. Prohibition of speaking the name of Yahuwah, even when written in scripture. 265, 1. It is prohibited to mention the name of Yahuwah as it is written. And we read it with the expression Adonai. See a footnote in chapter 6. We have to add thereto that none of the Jews, not even the reformers of that time, dared to mention this holy name as it is written. And wherever it is mentioned, they read it Adonai. Babylonian Talmud, footnotes, end of tract, Sanhedrin, part 2, Haggadah, end of volume 16. The guilty to be burned and their family punished 
because the name of Yahuwah is expressed instead of Adonai? Anina B. Tredain was then brought before them and questioned why he occupied himself with the Torah. And he answered, Because I am so commanded by the Lord my God. The decree was then rendered that he should be burned, his wife killed, and his daughter to be taken to the house of prostitutes. He to be burned because he used to express the name Yahuwah as it is written, and not Adonai as it is to be read instead. Babylonian Talmud, Tract Abu Zara, Idolatry, Chapter 1, Page 31, A Lesson Taught by the Rabbis. Truly, just as it was written in Kohelet, Ecclesiastes 1, verse 9, there is no new matter under the sun. Just as it was back then, so it is today. The followers of the Babylonian Talmud still uphold these traditions of men by not speaking the name of our Father. You may not realize it, but do you uphold this tradition 